So happy you could join us again. I am with Greg Angert, beer director for the Neighborhood Restaurant Group, a James Beard Award nominee. The group includes down in Merrifield, you've got B-Side, uh, and right next door, um, Red Apron. Up in North Bethesda, Owens Ordinary. Greg, it is always good to see you. You too, my man. Well, welcome to Florida. What do we have on tap this week? I <laughs> just so was down there. Interesting, exactly. But Hialeah from Cigar City Brewing Company out of Tampa, Florida, um, is, is actually the uh, biggest selling American craft brewed can right now. No kidding. Even more so than Dale's Pale Ale. Wow. But Dale's Pale Ale is number two. And we'll okay, talk about their connection. Also, but, yeah, and they're, yeah, and they're the same company now. So, but Cigar City uh, has long made really incredible beer since 2009. In fact, down in uh, in Florida, it, for the longest time, you had to go, you had to be in Tampa or in Florida to get it. And that's why, like you said, you were just down in Florida. Yep. Jupiter, I think yep. it was. Yep. Got some, brought some back. My parents have lived in Daytona Beach for many years since they retired. So, going down there, I could always get high lie. And now. We can get it off here. In fact, on January awesome. twenty, January twenty first, we are hosting the official Cigar City um, debut right here at Church Key. So Hialeah will be on draft uh, for that as always. And um, ah, just solid. Really great beer. A little bit more yeast character than I remember. Um, it's not like a hazy IPA. It's still got, you know, it's still dry. It has bitterness, but a little bit more fruit forward um, and aromatic. Really, really uh, delicious. Amarillo, Cascade mostly are the hops used for a lot of the flavor there. So a lot of orange character. Uh, but then Simcoe for dry hopping, which is uh, that kind of dank piney um, grapefruity note that you pick up uh, as well. So really cool to finally have Cigar City uh, consistently in D.C. and in Virginia and Maryland. I'm excited. These guys have been on my radar for a long time because we started Beer of the Week, you know, about seven years and a month ago, and wow. some, and which has been a great experience for me learning about all these different breweries I would have never known about. But also, at some point, there was a collaboration. I, Cigar City and someone else may have been the first ever collaboration beer we did on this feature sure, yeah and I and I ne and I had okay, never right really now. heard of that before and now it's you know I think yeah so I think it may have been place, like but a cigar city and brewery collaboration but it was brewed at the brewery and that's how you're introduced to them so and you know they, they've been known for well cigar city has been ahead of the curve since since the beginning days Joey Redner uh, who's a fifth generation Floridian started the brewery um, and you know as the founder and then Wayne Wombles came in as the the brewmaster uh, right from the start, and Wayne had been at Foothills in North Carolina, brewing really incredible beer. So uh, they, they got started. You know, they were they were the ones making uh, an incredible mole inspired imperial stout, Hunapu, that you know now has a, its own festival named after it. Um, and, and and you know they were doing cool pastry stouts and fruited sours even before it was cool to do so. They've really been ahead of the curve. And you know, Blue Jacket was lucky enough to brew our first ever beer with Cigar City and our friends at Funky Buddha um, five, got six years ago now, called Snack Attack, uh, which was an imperial stout with all sorts of like uh, movie candy, uh, cinema flavors, and, and, uh, and in fact, they rebrewed that recently at really? Cigar City. It's a bottle club release for them in the Catador Club, and we're gonna have that on draft at our event on the 21st as well, so very cool. Excellent, what would you pair it with? Well, I think of like Tampa, and I think of uh, Cuban food, you know, Caribbean food that's amazing down there. Uh, empanadas and tamales and things like that. It makes you think of Tex-Mex too. These kinds of beers with a citrus punch, little sweetness, little bitterness is always great with enchiladas and tacos, burritos. Uh, the, the richer, the gooier with cheese, the better probably. But then also I love Cubano sandwiches, you know, with ham and pork and pickles and mustard. And then think of like, you know, Jewish deli food, like pastrami on rye and corned beef Rubens. I think all of those things would be amazing with this beer. Fabulous. Greg, thank you as always. Thank you. Everyone, please always do drink responsibly and be sure to bring your thirst next time for another beer of the week.